Thank you for joining the program National Agenda, which is reaching you live from this means independent television, DITV and Algeria Radio. My name is Uchi Ju. National Agenda is a program that features discussions on issues making rounds in and outside the country. The program this morning will look at issues in the polity, uh, of course, following uh, with the agitations to review Nigeria's political structure as it intensifies, among other issues. Joining the discussion this morning from my immediate left is Engineer Musa Idris. Engineer, Engineer Musa Idris is a politician. He is a former Director General Interparty uh, Advisory Council, IPAC, Kaduna State. Uh, IPAC is an umbrella body for registered political parties. Uh, he is also a water engineer, a rice farmer, and a public affairs analyst. Engineer, good to have you on the program. Uh, thank you, Uchijo. Good morning, yes. Okay, uh, he's also joined by Malo Musa Zuberu. Malo Musa Zuberu is a permanent commissioner, Kaduna State Assembly Commission, uh, former coordinator, National Poverty Eradication Program, NAPEP, Kaduna State Zone, uh, a lecturer, or is it former lecturer? <laughs> lecturer, always a lecturer. Isn't a it? lecturer. <laughs> <laughs> Even here, I think I'm going to lecture. As time permits. Uh, he's also a public affairs analyst. Uh, good to have you. But I'm, I, I, you intimidated me with this uh, robust uh, uh, CV of uh, the honor. Uh, I think what you just left out is that uh, he was contested the governorship uh, mm. of the real estate. Uh, we'll take the whole program to introduce him. Okay. Among others. Okay. <laughs> Good to see both of you this morning Thank you. on the program. Um, engineer, looking at uh, issues, first let's uh, open discussions. Uh, looking at uh, the Monday's meeting between the Northern uh, State Governors Forum with the Northern State Emirs and Chiefs, uh, which held here in Kaduna. Uh, to engage with critical stakeholders of the North in containing uh, issues, uh, particularly in the North. And some of the resolutions, traditional uh, rulers to be given formal rules in the governance architecture of the country, also the, the, the meeting and thus indivisibility and oneness, as well as took note of the social media uh, devastating effects of the uncontrolled social media and spreading fake news and therefore called for major control mechanism and censorship of the social media practice in Nigeria, among others. Uh, looking at you, uh, for you, looking at resolutions as well as uh, the timing for these leaders. Well, it's about 20 points uh, uh, communique. communique, actually. Uh, for me, uh, of that 20 points, over uh, close to 70 percent, you know, was dedicated to the issue of uh, answers, mm. and uh, that's quite unfortunate. And uh, the high point there, which I could say, it's the issue of, uh, you know, trying to look at the, the role for traditional rulers in the country. Uh, they equally set up the committee to immediately, you know, try to put a, an actual plan mm. to ensure that uh, uh, National Assembly does what's supposed to be needful on that. Aside from that, I'm rather surprised and uh, completely disappointed that the Northern Governors, uh, in conjunction with traditional laws and other relevant stakeholders, mm -hmm. could sit in Kaduna to discuss the Northern agenda and their community to come so low as to be discussing issues that the, the, the Northern people, you know, felt, you know, they were not taken into account as to what are their, you know, problems? I say this because the, the problems that, I'm, that, are, that are bedeviled the North are quite, you know, obvious, are, are known in the political domain, especially here in the North. Uh, 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 for them to, 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 to come low and begin to give bashing to what we now feel, because if you, are, if you have monitored the, the events, you know, immediately after the communique was, was, was reeled out, people were completely disappointed that the, the, the youths that they, 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 they give some praises to mm. by, by saying that uh, they, they behaved well for not going the way of the answers. For me, that is, that is, that's, that's, like, that's a non-issue. But also, we, 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 we talked about we, the no. issues of the advisory system. In yes, I'm going to go into that. No, there are so many of them. If, uh, if, if we take one, if we take one, we can. Yes. yes, I'm bringing that. Yes, I, yes, I'm you saying, said uh, they were concentrating. 
You see, what the, for me, if they have taken if they have taken a three key point, for instance, if they have taken hunger, they take insecurity, and of course they take unemployment. You begin to see yes, and then and then they try to you know make a point out of it why they felt this is why the governors you know are doing are doing what they are doing. They are rather the, the, the stakeholders that are sad. You begin to understand you know they are actually playing the role of true representative of the people, but we didn't see that. For me, I don't know why they would make an emphasis on uh, the issue of uh, social media and all of that. How can they control social uh, media? Uh, when, when, uh, when, before you when, go when, ahead, no, I'm but, sure but, you're aware of the effects of the no, no, no. the peaceful protest which turned. No, I'm not uh, saying uh, and, and, and also after that communique, <laughs> some hours after, uh, some other social cultural groups, or Hanizi, Afenifere, the Middle Belt, disagreed with the North, alleging. Uh, for a very long time, it has always been the North is also saying or alleging a regime change plot. So, don't no, you think no. there was need this is, this to is see, 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 look must at we, the issues no, of see, the we, movement see, and make the stand of the North clear on these issues? Joe, the North has always had its own stand regarding the Nigerian project. It doesn't really matter for us to say because uh, the Northeast, I mean the Southeast, the, the Northwest, have an agenda for, for for instance maybe they, they talk of predominantly about resource control and of course you know changing the social political you know structure of the country what they now call uh, uh, the balkanization of the substructures of the country if the not does not take a, 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 a position of that let it be it if if it is the south south and the southeast they really feel that the north the country have to be you know the 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 the, 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 the of the country have to be looked at by kind of you know restructuring it it is their problem but for us, I think we, we have believed that it is an opportunity not the governors had to not begin to look at the main issues that are bedeviling the, 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 the North. That is what we are saying. For instance, the, the, the unemployment that is so possessive, the insecurity that they downplayed, it is not enough for you to say, oh, well, this is what they are supposed to do. They, 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 they've been able to calm the youth and all of that. Mm. If you go deep down, you see that a lot of, you know, undone things, you know, being, I mean, following the campaigns, you know, the promises that have been given to the youth. Our people have usually been, uh, I'm talking of the youth now, they've been, been, been very obedient, you know, and they're very, you know, resilient, you know, sort of uh, 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 people, you did, and are uh, quite respectful to, to, to elders. That is why when I had been issued, they were spoken to through normal, you know, uh, informations that, that, that went out. They never really partake in these things that, 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 that happened, especially in the, in the Southwest. That's what, what, we're, what we're saying. So, but what we have thought that these basic issues that I'm telling you, if they have addressed insecurity, for instance, and begin to look at the issues the way they are, the, the incessant killings of human beings, if they had looked at that and begin to give us signals to the president or to the, to, to the government as to what actions they are supposed to take, they will begin to say that they have scored a point. If they are beginning to tell us, well, they are sorry, they have not been enough for them to actually jack up the employment ratio in the country, especially in the north, you begin to, 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 to understand that. If you tell the poverty rate in the country, why are we having so much poverty? Why have the north been able to benefit from some of these slides that the federal government spared these empower issues and so on? Sorry, this uh, agricultural, whatever, that the government has been able to try. Why has it not been so impactful to the generator of the people? Mm -hmm. I think if they have taken on some of these issues, you begin to say, yes, they have come up with something that if addressed in the next couple of months there could be changes before the next elections Sorry. but we, we didn't see this rather we see them supporting like i said you know over close to 70 percent mm. of this NSAS stuff that we don't really understand and then, and then again the what you have the the social media trying to to clip social media and what have you mm. when you know that they are the primarily beneficiaries of this social media stuff of course there had to be the negative aspect of, of social media but how do you think they can even curtail you know the the, the negative aspect of social media with, 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 within the last uh, when you know that the diaspora we have nigerians in diaspora mm. and of course most of the things that happened here they were even bringing in information sending in videos sending in posts and all of that from the diaspora and they helped to actually fire up we'll, some of the things that are we'll that, 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 that happening here issues let me bring uh, let me bring you in so that you will uh, i think it's, it's, high, it's high time <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking at issues in the community yes uh, and, uh, yes i i think uh, some issues in uh i quite uh, appreciate the uh the agitation of my brother here in Virginia, musa idris but uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, we have to look at the issue at stake 
And uh, what they have done, I think, is timely. Because we have been looking for this kind of a union of the Northern Governors. I remember uh, years back, even during the military regimes, we used to have this Northern Governors meeting every month in Kaduna to deliberate and discuss issues that affect the welfare of the people of Northern Nigeria. So I think uh, what we need to do is uh, to look at it, to either encourage them and then look at the issues they have brought. And the issue at stake now is the answers. Because the NSAS almost balkanized Nigeria as he has used, I want to use his word. And the NSAS almost create a kind of friction between the elites and the people that are, are, are not elites. Between the wealthy and the poor. Between the rulers and the ruled. And ethnic groups. So, and the ethnic groups. So I think uh, it is important we look at some of these things. And the governors have talked very well. They have talked about the issue of poverty. They have talked about the issue of security. So what we need to do, just like Idris has said, you understand, is that uh, we look at the issue of security where they have talked, just as what he is saying. Whether we know it or not, the fact of the matter is that they are not giving us the details of what they have discussed. It was a closed door meeting. It was a closed door meeting, uh, and I said that we are only getting the, the communique. Community. And once you have a communique, it's just highlight. So it means that they have talked about most of these things the engineer has talked about. They have talked, he's talked about uh, hunger, and privation, and all the rest of it. Once you talk of poverty, hunger is uh, attached. Once you talk of uh, security, the assumption is that these people feel it like just like any or other citizen or unemployment. So they feel it like any other person because the governor of Kansas State, cannot, Kansas State, for example, cannot tell you that he's not aware of the insecurity and he can define it better than anybody. The governor of the Forest State, so even our governor in Kansas State here knows what uh, what uh, insecurity is all about. So I think the, the 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 assumption is that they must have discussed it very deeply and uh, in a robust manner. Uh, but what is there is they have not given all the blueprint. Mm -hmm. And some of these things we don't really need the blueprint. All we should do is to make sure that uh, we assess and uh, we monitor how they carry out some of these things. The area of unemployment. What are they doing? To generate employment so these are some of the things that we need to look, look at because we don't know from what angle they are uh, they look at the issue of unemployment is it from the agriculture or from the other areas uh, of uh how do, how do you call them this uh uh house mindship also so things like that do, do they need mentoring or do they need uh, some kind of loans and palliatives so when we look at some of this this is where we take the governors so what we need to do now in a program like this of with me and uh, engineer together. We look at s most of these things they enumerated in their community. In the area of security, now let us watch how do you intend to address the security. So we expect every secretary of the state government to the state government to go back to his state and then explain the details of what the community is, is talking about. Because this is what is expected to do. They held a very close door meeting and uh, with areas and chiefs with other stakeholders, including even the Senate President. And I'm happy the, uh, the words uh, used by Indian, I can't remember, where he said that uh, some of these things may require legislation. Mm -hmm. And he is happy that some of these people were there. Mm -hmm. So at least some of these things require legislation. We expect that uh, the people that came from the National Assembly, mm -hmm. The representatives of the people in the National Assembly should work towards that. Okay, the end. Uh, let's 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 let Within the context of the problems we are having today, like the one headed, uh, being headed by the Emir of Zazo, because it's dealing with the youth, yeah. you understand? So because the youth now are the problem of this country, and the only way we can get mm. this issue addressed is now for the governors and the governments in the states to be so uh, open. To be so provident within the context of the management of the resources of the people they have. So th that's why we have open government partnership. And the open government partnership is not between uh, uh, government, mm. inter it's not intergovernment, it's between the government and the citizens. All right. Yes, that's, that, let yes. me do a quick take. Okay. Sorry, no, I, I, don't, I don't like to do a, yes, a, a quick take here. Mm. You see, the, the physical elements that we are talking of, you know, reaching out to the people, begin to see the, the impactful, you know, things that they are doing. For instance, do you know as we speak now, the, the, the Mambila Hydro Project? He's not captured in the 2021 budget. Do you know that? Does you it not surprise don't tell you? me that. Neither he was not captured. That is the issue. And you see, Bajamiana will come up 
on the on 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 on, on national no no, 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 no sorry the national the speaker no no I'm yes, telling you yes, no my friend I have sorry I have my own opinion yes I have I don't put put that here what I'm saying is that if you have the speaker you really now certain things that had happened. The, as, as a result of the, the, the answer thing and saying that he's, he's not, not going to have the budget. He's not going to is that not the, the Is that not the political domain? Are you not worried as a northerner? For no, no, not only as a northerner. As a Nigerian, as a democracy. Because he's I know that. I want to tell you. You see, that is even disgraceful. That's what I'm saying. He disgraced the political community. And he disgraced Nigerian. Yes, yes. Just be patient with me. I understand that. I appreciate you. I understand that. That is what I'm saying that. If the Speaker of the National Assembly can come out to talk what he has said regarding uh, the fallout of the answers, the, the, the measures he's going to take to address oh, those oh, issues, oh. that he's going, he's, he's going to refuse to sign the budget. I now say that if the Northern Governors, 19 of them, and other very relevant stakeholders, the traditional rulers and other very important elders, and they all sit together, okay, and then they begin to look at issues that affect you know predominantly because you are talking of the the 50 year anniversary of the of, of the Sedona of, 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 of your house building of the house house building it, itself oh. if these are the issues one will expect that look at the cultural values of the north predominantly and then of course the issue of social political development that emanates within the region so i am saying that if this if this no, 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 let me let me let me let me stop it now let me let me stop are you so not i make a point no 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 what you see i just inject i know i said no my brother wait let me inject when you inject you will appreciate what i said to quick taste let me take quick taste i'm sorry 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 please let me take quick taste my worry is that Uche, you have to so, allow me to so you see you you come in <laughs> but Uche, my worry is that if if they can so sit and roll out a community mm. on the public domain and you are saying that they sat on uh, on, on closed door they have to sit on closed door because people like uh, invited guests like the governor of uh, the uh, governor of governor's forum the president uh, 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 the governor of uh Ekiti, for state, instance uh, it's not going to be in a closed door yes. where other governors are meeting uh, for instance so that is why the e closed door issue is there but what i'm saying is that once you sit on the closed door you discuss very pertinent issues then you realize the communicate mm -hmm. will begin to be privy to what you have discussed as as, as stakeholders in the north that's what i'm saying i'm saying that the 2021 yeah, budget that, now, yes. like, like the i'm saying that leader said it should now, be wait, a no, continuous you see, engagement you communicate they say, just give the issues wait the issues look how many for how long in one sitting wait for how long let me talk as a teacher for how long you see for how long have we been seeing coming i have attended some such communiques in, in the arua house i'm, I'm I, I got tired yes okay? have written so, so, so so what i'm saying is that if this were the issues mm -hmm. i'm telling you that are they telling me that they are not aware that that a three thousand and five thousand megawatts electricity of mambula that so 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 that that is the in the front burner mm -hmm. that is key to the president Momo rubari's uh, agenda and that it's not captured in the 2021 budget does it not look it, it, does it not surprise you that is one and then the other key elements in the north, for instance, this this our major road from Kano to 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 to, to Abuja, for instance. Mm -hmm. And then of course the dredging of River Niger, because you have dry port in Kano, you have dry port in Kaduna, and then you have the the, the seaport waiting to, to to take off in in Baro, mm -hmm. and and of course uh, uh, Lokweza. These things are not on 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 the hot burner. So and then you are not worried as northerners. This is just my concern. Oh, and then these are things that will throw up jobs, you know, and add add value. To the social political development of the north and as well of the youth that you are so that are so restive that they want to see something happening and that's what i'm saying yes. no right. i agree with you you understand i agree with you, but what i'm saying is uh, let us look at uh, the communique they released and uh, let us look at the time that's why i said let me talk as a teacher mm -hmm. as a counselor can, can, can i can i read something you know? they're just doing they're just no no i know i know i know them too what i'm saying is and that also if you look can, at them can, can look at the time challenges you see, facing you see, this region be discussed uh, just once or the first season. No, I think no, no, they've they, they, they they six years that they've been discussing this. Yeah, they, 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 they need to continue now. Uh, let's look at the issue of the social, the social media, too. even from the office of the NSE, uh, how social media played a role in inciting uh, Nigerians during the end. No, you see, normally, you see, people, we are, we are just trying to now be so looking at the issues of uh, We are just being hypocritical control. about this social media. I have delivered a paper some years back in Capital School where I said, if I'm delivering this paper, on the issue of ICT and the rest of it, I expect that all parents must be there with mm. their children so that we discuss these issues. And uh, I gave 
a lot of uh, way out for all of these things. Mm -hmm. So what is there is we are being hypocritical because some of sometimes where you have social media playing negative within the context of governance, mm -hmm. within the context of uh, probity and accountability, is because some of the leaders are not telling the truth. Once the leaders are telling the truth, I can tell you there is nothing social media will do negatively to affect to affect to, to affect such kind of uh, of uh, the struggling. Mm. Let, let, let's share that. So you see the truth and ways out the issue of social media. No, you see social media. One of the best ways when you are talking of social media influence within the context of governance is for those people in position of authority to make sure that they reach always to the citizens. You reach always to the citizens. And you are always abreast with what is happening. You always uh, uh, counter some of the things that are said. So nobody will tell lies because if you are really on the on the on the ground looking at what is happening, responding immediately, because you cannot stop uh, social media from existing. And social media is plays very significant role. Even the people that are saying that social media should be checked, mm -hmm. they are the most, they are the better beneficiaries of social media than anybody of, uh, are there. Because you find that today, government in the presidency. Government in government governance houses, uh, government houses in the states, you find that they use Twitter and other media, social media platform to make sure that they reach out to the people. So, and uh, I think that social media really, when handled properly, and the best way to handle properly, the stakeholders, the people that are still at the helm of affairs, let them be, uh, be assertive enough, let them be sincere enough to tell it as it is. To counter is as it should be countered. Mm -hmm. So once that is done, I can tell you we will not have problem. But uh, always we try to look at the negative aspect of it. There is negative aspect of it within the concept of morality. This is why you need to put your eyes and then check some of these things. So people always becloud their thinking, their reasoning with the fact that uh, always when you talk of social media, you are always talking about the immorality that uh, and, the some, uh, and, and the fake news. But once you have a, a, a credible site, a credible site, that you always inform the people, you always talk to the people, you always liaise with the people, you always uh, 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 get uh, uh, the site, you understand, easily accessible to the people. Mm -hmm. I can tell you some of these things will not come. Like the issue of Lekki. The issue of Lekki, I expected that time. Immediately it happened. The Minister of uh, Information and Culture to come out even to buy some airtime, they have NTA. Come out and say that this is a blatant lie. The international communities look at these things. When the, uh, the government of Nigeria is being bashed left, right, and center, I expected the, uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs to come out and do something in our embassies. But and nothing and like and that is done. was picked yeah? up in Niger. Uh, they were slow in response. They were slow in response. They were saying that uh, they, they, they were actually they played a role. Yes, you know. I mean, when West Shabia was already about about 12 hours after my son I posted that issue mm -hmm. then it was then that the Nigerian government is responsible so you see so that, they, that they, they give so they give room for social I mean why I mean why what you need to know yes Okay. Just a rider. No, you see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a lot of issues. Yes. I, yeah, I know that. Just very briefly. See, I, I, I know that uh, the government have not helped matters actually in terms of the responses when they see one small thing coming up in social media. Because already there are already legislation, you know, uh, that, are, that are already, already looking at all these, uh, you know, things that you need to know that government can only take you to court. All they need to do, all they, all they, all they, all, they, all we see them doing recently is this uh, fake news stuff that they will be finding certain media houses. And then you hear somebody... You, you see that? You cannot find uh, so, so, fake news. When, so, when, when the people that are supposed to give you the information are giving you the that's, information. That's what I'm telling that's you. What saying. That's what we're yeah. saying. I, I know we're saying the same thing. Yes, I, I, agree, believe, I, yes. I, I believe that if you, if you give us the right news and the people know that the right news have been given, they will tell the line and begin to do as such. But when you give room for them to speculate and all of that, and speculation goes on, and before you know it, it becomes something in the political domain, mm -hmm. you begin to have problems. Then now, the damage control is what they normally use, use the, the, the sledgehammer right. to want to... to, to, uh, to uh, let's look at uh, issues of restructuring, which is uh, the front burner. Issues of restructuring and growing concerns, just as the uh, agitations to review Nigeria's political structure uh, intensifies. Uh, engineer, the demand for restructuring yeah, yeah, has yes. been persistent in the South. Yeah, you see, let me uh, let me let me for do a so. while. Let me for let a me. while. Mm. Uh, now there is growing concern or consensus in the Middle Belt. Now the North is taking a stand and seeing uh, or calling for restructuring. You see, you see, we we have 
we have discussed the social for a very long time. And it's still uh, on. It's, it's still on. on. We have With different dimensions, yes. the, the different definitions. Is, the, the, the restructuring goes in tandem with resource control. It's just that people are not, they are hiding on this restructuring mm -hmm. to actually discuss the well, main the, issues. This, are, see, the, this is part of yes, the issue of, yes. of resource you see, what control. You see, let me tell you. Uh, you see, the what, what is restructuring? It's just an aspect of, yeah, of restructuring. Yes. You, you see, when you say, when you say you are restructuring, <laughs> if you look at it, you know, objectively, you begin to see imbalance in the society. That's exactly what it is. You look at appointment, you look at a project, you know, uh, spread in the country and all of that. It will interest you to know that even the government, the country, already have what they call uh, this, uh, 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 no, no, a federal character, you know, is, is a constitutional act, okay, that determines or that, that plays, you know, appropriately how certain positions, even contracts and all of that are shared geopolitically. And so that everybody, so that, so that everybody, so we, that we, we looked at you, issues, you come uh, so that everybody, uh, we looked at everybody. issues yesterday, the recent coming out is the issues of uh, the Zamfara, uh, gold as well as uh, that's what I'm that's the resource. Resource. That we are coming. We are going back to the, we're, we're to, to the let me make a You know, let me make a tilt a little. You see, uh, I'm happy that we are discussing this uh, restructuring here, and uh, I'm happy that uh, we all agree that uh, restructuring is not balkanizing the country mm. because it's when you talk of restructuring, and that is why you find that some regions of this country really are uh, slowing, you understand, and accepting or even appreciated restructuring. Restructuring started since the Abacha time because that was when he even appointed a ministry of uh, uh, power, devolution of power. I remember some uh, states, so elder statesman was appointed as the minister, Abdurrahman Okini, to, to take care of devolution of power. So you don't know from where the agitators of uh, restructuring really are coming from. And with the kind of national assembly we have, I can tell you it's going to be very, very difficult because anything you talk about restructuring is it uh, requires constitutional amendment mm. because you cannot just go about it like that. It's something that already is already but is, is that right not in also the a platform just like the no, but you see what the you are saying leaders, is that, no, what you are saying uh, is that the no, of the northern, the northern leaders, leaders the northern leaders and the southern leaders and the middle belt leaders can easily reach out to their legislators in the national assembly. You understand to start preparing for that and that's send them to say what's up with this thing to be done but we want to make notes we want to be relevant but otherwise we know it's a constitutional issue mm -hmm. we know that there is no ethno uh, ethno religious group that will come and champion this we know that there is no political party single-handedly that can champion this i think so I, I, you I, see I, you see no, the fact of the matter is that yes. let us really appreciate the fact that this is the kind of law we are working with this is the constraints that we have in the constitution that we need to really address. So anybody that is trying to champion the issue of our restructuring, which I also believe mm. we should really have restructuring, because as engineer has rightly said, you find that uh, the power is not properly shared, the resources are not properly managed, you, even the states are looking for police, even the issue of these NSAS and what have you has really brought us more to see that some of these areas need to be restructured, some of these areas really, really, uh, need to be jigging. So you see, it, if we really want to rejig some of these things, we know that we have a constraint. And the constraint we have is the constitution. Until and unless we are bold enough, our politicians are assertive enough, not only to come and start talking about structuring and trying to uh, uh, take credits of, of our misfortunes. Hmm. You know, they just want to uh, take credit of our misfortunes. Yes, that to, is what to, 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 to do it because they want to cherish the misfortunes okay. of the common people of this country. Right. So until and unless they are prepared to do that, and I cannot see any serious political group any serious political group coming to talk about a structure. Do you think the country is not ready? No, the country is managed by some elites. You see, the drums, the drum beats of the elites is only really what dictates the tune or the, the kind of dance that we do. Uh, so, we so, are dance. No, what, what, no, what, no, what, you see, no, 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 the market square, forgot? yes, uh, the, we go to the market square, and the market square here is a national assembly. Yeah, but that's why you, 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 you forgot something that, yes, even the, party, the party itself, when there was this same call in mm. 27, 2018, there was this committee that was set up that was that, that was the committee will not function because because they know that let me 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 let me
I, I just want to say the record straight. You see, the the party came under the flank of saying they were going to restructure the country. You remember? Post 2015. That was what they When the committee the made, let me no, made let me finish. Let me finish. Uh, there was a call. Let stand, me finish. Yes. They said the they were going to restructure. And, but and, and they have such powers? Let me tell you. Let me speak. No, we have to use it. But you don't have intellectuals. Uh, yeah, but, but, but you, you know, know what I want to say? No, I'm saying that. You when they say, you say a party is doing that, but I just the party that came to power. But even a party that said that would do that, they know that eventually they will end the Wadisha Assembly. When they said they were going to restructure, that was the promise they made to the country. They said they would do it. Whatever modus operandi it will take for them to restructure the, 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 the nucleus of the country, they have said they will do it. Eventually, there was a committee that was being headed at that time by the by the gov present governor of Kaduna State, Manam uh, Nasr Erupai, and then he did submit a report to the party. So what was left now was for the executive to look at these issues and then begin to talk to the National Assembly for them to adjudicate. That was not done. Even the, even this thing that was being mentioned during the course of this... Uh, when he said... This, uh, this, this year, he mentioned it. The governor mentioned it. Really? The government no, finished. Finished. Has finished. 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 That is what the government finished. There are places where we are lacking. That's what I'm telling you. Exactly. That is After why. the meeting, the governor of Ghana said was so was so assertive. That's what I'm saying. He was so frank. That's what I'm he saying. He said that there so are areas yeah, that, that we are lacking. And really, I think he is commended by every person in this country. But so I have, I have, I have, I'm, I'm saying that he had, he had, he had said yeah. that he had even said that this is a problem that that committee had caused. As far as they are concerned, it has been handed over to the party. Is that not for the party to do now? Beautiful? Yes, that's, that's, right. what, that's what I'm saying. Now so agree now doing and the now. beautiful, doing the simply means that is the party now going to sit and say, okay, we are, we are now doing this country. This is where we are going. No, no, no. They know what they do by saying this is They took the National Assembly. They look at all these things now and then begin to work as to what the committee recommended. That has not been done. And now you are coming out to say. I mean, allow agitators to begin to speculate again. When already, you know, you have a phone, you have where, where you are supposed to go to actually look at these issues and begin to put it on, on the template for people who do ap appreciate. I'm so, so this, this is what I'm saying. See, I, we share the same thing, but the approach. Mm -hmm. You see, like you are going into the central market. You can enter from Taiwan Road, you can enter from anywhere. But first of all, I agree no, that the party no, has done what they are supposed no, to do. No, it's not. They, the have, they have a committee they have that gone has beyond, We have gone beyond the party. Yes, what, what, what have elections, have, look, they have done that for the purpose of winning elections. No, no, that was not that. This was, was, coming, was recent. I'm coming, I'm coming. And if the members of the National Assembly, now the tax be, uh, before us, me and you, and this uh, Honorable House, the mm. television station, where we are really making the broadcast, you understand? Uh, I think our responsibility is to make sure that now we do so many things that the National Assembly members will hear and start action. Because we have we are a, a multi-party system. Well, you know so that most, most actions no. are not taken until there is an executive bill. It is only when there is an executive no. bill. No, that is no, what happened usually. It is only when there is an executive bill from the national from, from the government that they take it to the assembly because before they begin to agitate. Otherwise, you do not have any clause of referendum no. in the constitution. Is that what so is supposed to be? That's not what is supposed to be. That's what is supposed to be. If you read the final part, you might be as you sit here now. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. Is that what is supposed to be? Tell how? me no. How? That uh, on, unless we have executive bill, no, 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 no. So if we so, to then now we're not going to do on your own. You can do it. Let's do what is what is needed. It is just it is just talking here. That will make that will make them act. No, what I'm saying you talking here is just no. What I'm saying is not just. No, what I'm saying is that you see the fact of the matter is that this is the only one who can give our contribution. As we are contributing now, recently, and then we walk home. We walk home. Yes. What recently? Northern leaders who describe themselves as friends of democracy are submitted a memorandum presented to the National Assembly yes. Committee on Review of the 1999 Constitution, <laughs> yes. mm. uh, where the leaders were rooting for 12 state structure, uh, backing 100% of uh, resource control and other issues. Are these not avenue, genuine avenue to channel uh, such suggestions or uh, the restructuring from regions? Yes, this is an excellent approach. I may not believe with what they have said because I may have my own, but uh, this is what we expect Nigerians. Well, it's challenged. To. Yes, both you understand. North yes, you know, both not uh, every every interest group. Mm. This is what we expect them to do, and this is what we expect the likes of uh, my brother here, engineer, to now start doing their own, not to be capitalizing on what other people have done, and then be putting blame games. What what kind of way do you want Nigeria to be like? So now set your own. I remember there was a time we saw so many things happening in Kaduna State. Me and you sat down and we wrote a memo and we submitted to the Kaduna State government. Is that not true? That was true. So you see, because we didn't wait for anybody to do that, we said we should do the needful. And this is what we, we should call Nigerians to do. Let them not organize themselves. If it is so difficult for them, call your senator. 
Call your member of the House of Reps. Sit them down. Tell them this is what we want. We want to hear you table it in the And stop eating the policy. And, just and stop eating the policy. Yes, with mere rhetorics. You see, this is what we need to do. From what but you from, see, from once we have politicians yeah. cherishing of the misfortunes of the Nigerian people, and this is what they always do. Like this, this answers, I don't want to take us back. Mm. We know where the problem is. We know who are responsible for the answers. Not because the, 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 the agitation was peaceful or, and later hijacked. But right from the onset, you understand, we know if some people have done their work very well, some of these things wouldn't have come. The police was just only, a, what do you call it, a, a collateral, a scapegoat. The police were just scapegoats. So, but if some people have done their work, and also for some, the uprising also. Uh, no, the uprising is not only up to many things. Demonstrated. Yes, they no, 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 yes, of it, In fact, it has demonstrated what Nigeria has signed itself into. That is the open government partnership. Now you can see so many places are uh, so many uh, 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 organs of government are now opening up. They are now opening up. If you look at even the issue of this, uh, what do you call them? Uh, this uh, looting and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. You see, governments are now opening up. It shows that some of the governments can do certain things that they refuse to do long ago. Because how many days after the Lekki uh, uh, issue and uh, so many of, about 300 people were arrested. Mm -hmm. You know? So mm -hmm. if really we know that we can use technology mm -hmm. to get some of these things done mm -hmm. and then we are not doing it, mm -hmm. then now we should All start. Right, we need to throw the lines open. Before then, engineer, federalism is always work in progress and there's no perfect... Uh, restructuring uh, that can satisfy all or address all issues. What are the and India, please talk about this issue of Mambila because now I'm not you see, I don't understand. You, you see, if you build institutions, the reason why America is great today, or Europe, some of the European countries are great today, it is simply because institutions have been built. I give you an example here. If you go to if you go to America or you go to Europe today. You just okay, land there. You are almost certain that <laughs> you open up your tap, you see public water supply. Whether it is commercialized, whether it is government direct sponsor or whatever, but you certainly see water supply. That thing has been working over time. Ditto in America. If you go and you switch on your light, electricity works. So these institutions have to be kept working. If you don't keep them working, there's a problem. As we speak now, there is no way you can begin to bring in these substructures that I say you want to. You, you want to look at again when already the existing one have not been fixed mm -hmm. what do i mean by that as i speak with you now just last week the minister thumped his chest and today he's happy they are generating close to five point something megawatts of electricity mm -hmm. and that if you go all over the country 24 hours power supply and then also and you, yes it the, let me finish let me, reports, let me finish. Engineer, we have a lot of issues to look at there then we will not, we'll not make point for put on the, the, we are the house of representatives committee uh, <laughs> Uh, it's also stopping or halting all new capital projects by TCN because for them, or to the finish, yes, I know. I was going to, I was going to go to that. This is what I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. That what government should, should really we really do things? Just for instance, now, even this government, they have said that they were going to be completing projects that were, of course, it's a Nigerian project anyway. And I just tell you here now, just now, that there are three key issues which, of course, this government has said, were, and in fact, they even took loan in the process. Talk of this. Federal Highway that we are talking of, Abuja Kanu. What's happening there? What kind of uh, 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 magic order that are they giving? The Mambila. Terrible yes, it's always like that. Mm -hmm. The Mambila project. I am just telling you that this government had given out the matching order. They went to China, they took a loan of over $5 billion to complete with Mambila. And meanwhile, Mambila has excised itself for four years. Nothing was done. The same government came by when they were telling us that before campaigns that they were they had done about eighty percent. Mm -hmm. They now came out after that first year was elapsed that nothing was done. Again, they came back again through the minister. Yes, through the minister, and they said they 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 they, 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 they are on it. And I, as I speak to you now, the same government don't have didn't capture this thing in the budget. Does this, this not surprise you? This is what I'm saying. Let's just look at these issues the way they are. If we take one item. We tidy it up, we we'll move forward. The but one will be the body there. And, 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 and then again, in one breath, they say they want to decongest the roads. They want to begin to use the, the railways. Really? They want to begin to use the, the, the waterways, for instance. And then the dredging of River Niger, which is very key. The government is not doing anything about it. So we need to let people know this. So when as, as we speak, there isn't even budget in the in the twenty in the twenty twenty one budget. On this dredging completion of this dredge of, of River Niger, so, 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 so these are the issues that we are saying. So, 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 but meanwhile, 
Why would officials of, look? You see, it's just about leadership. You yes. see, if you are in charge, like I'll give you an example. The president has not for one day visited some of these substructures that we're talking of. One day. He has, he has never. Meanwhile, he has ministers. And, and then they just keep out the feeding stories and say things are doing well. And no one, nothing's been done. So this is what we're saying. So, and then you want to jump over to begin to talk alien issues. Mm. When already, you know, things that are on ground that are so pertinent to the growth of the people. You know, they, they, are, not, they are not being solved. And you begin to look at. Uh, because the, you, you want to catch up, as, 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 as people I want to say, and you begin to say, no, 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 let us, let us do that. No, no, no. Look at the key issues that are on ground. How well have you, you know, you know, restructure it to, to, to be able to capture it and then get it to, 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 to start benefiting? Right. This is just, this, yes, this we, just, this we, just we, my surprise. We need, you know? to, we need to throw the lines open uh, now. If you have just uh, joined us here to the program, National Agenda, which is coming to you live from the ITV studios. We're looking at issues in the polity. Uh, this morning, of course, from agitations, review of Nigeria's political structure, which identifies to resolution by the Northern Governors Forum, as well as traditional uh, emirs and chiefs, uh, among other issues. To participate on the program number, to call 09065-1436-99. Shortly, numbers will be displayed on your TV sets. For listeners, 09065-1436-99. Hello? Uh, good morning, Mr. Joe. Yes, good morning. Your name, where you are calling from? My name is Hassan Suleiman Bokodisha, calling from Western Bypass. All right, Hassan Suleiman, good morning. Let's hear you. Good mo uh, Joe, uh, Mr. Joe, mm. uh, the issue of Nigeria is the more you hear, the more you become confused. The more you see, the more you become confused. Hassan, are you, are you confused? Uh, yes, I'm always confused, <laughs> Mr. Uche. Okay. The more I see, I'll be confused. If I hear, I'll be confused. Because sometimes it's just, it's just something of working on paper. It's just working on paper at the end of the day, not in meditation. Thank God, not now that I've started about this structuring. Then it was uh, South South and Southwest that are shouting for uh, restructuring. Now, not, I say yes, we. So we are ready mm. to do the restructuring. Now, my question is that let's say powerful preparation produce powerful performance. What preparation is our political elders in the North prepare for that restructuring? If they have the disruption at the end of the day, it will lend the problem will make on the north. At the end, what we are expecting that we get at the end of the day, we will not get it because they are only they are, what they, are, they are just after their own selfish interest, not our own interest. That is it. If you look at during the during the preparation of 1999 budget, um, the 1999 budget, one of the governors, he was one of the coordinators. They have what they prepared the for the constitution. If the constitution paper mm, we the demand is what the president is always about that. If you have them talking about constitution, constitution is something that will benefit them, no benefit to power parties. No especially the not. We do not all set of problems lay less in the not. And what preparation what 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 effort they put in place in order to tackle that problem. Mm. They become that we are doing it because of the power parties we are doing what we see. All right. Anything. Yes. All, all right, Hassan. My question, my question is that you go to Barista, please. What, Baris what <laughs> way okay, yeah, right. that we think that we make this token and it will go well and it will benefit we the not people? Thank you very much. All right. Uh, thank you, Hassan Suleiman. Well, he's not a barista, but he's saying <laughs> what will actually make uh issue of restructuring, particularly the North, what will make it a reality because he highlighted issues of uh, workings on paper and issues of uh, reality. But we've that, also seen... That's what we're saying. Yes, we, 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 we've that's seen that's issues of interest, actually. That is what we said. That's what we said. That's what we said. That's what we said. We need to pick this call. Okay, before. please, yes. please. Hello? Okay. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Yes, my name is Suleiman Mohammed Hodin from Kaduna. Okay, right. Suleiman Mohammed, that's here. Yeah, in respect of that discussion, the discussion Go ahead. He just wanted to make a contribution where yes. I had one of the speakers, which is Ahadi Musa, mm. saying that the youth are the problem of Nigeria. Did I say that? If I wanted him to withdraw that statement. No, I didn't say that. The youth are not the problem. Of I didn't Nigeria. say that. <laughs> the problem of Nigeria is the problem of the youth. Mm. Because youth are the big things in Nigeria. Mm. But they are not a problem. So I wanted him to withdraw that statement. All right. I'm, I am solidly behind what Engineer Musa is saying. 
all what is needed to be captured in the, uh, in the project was not captured. These people are always deceiving us. Take example of this issue of uh, land uh, a dry cost of the team. It is just a deceptive mechanism. All right. Uh, well. No, I think I let go. Please You see, at the last corner, I think it's not fair to me because there is no way I can say that this uh, the problem of this country. I've never said that. Well, I mean, you too. Uh, well, I'm, uh, well, even if I'm not, at least I, 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 I know the role I played, and I'm still playing in the uh, afflictment of the Nigerian youth. Mm -hmm. I, oh, that's why I always use the word that uh, some of our leaders are cherishing the misfortunes of the people of this country. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm right to say this. So I think uh, really, if he didn't get us right, I think he should be fa fair to us mm -hmm. because we don't come here only just to really talk for the sake of talking. Mm -hmm. I think he should be fair to us for sparing our time to make research to come and make these things. So please, sir, uh, if you didn't get us right, let him ask for clarification. Mm, okay, that's right. that, that, that's that, why we need him to ask for clarification. So now I'm asking him to, to withdraw that statement because I didn't say that. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to put this uh, uh, interview on uh, on YouTube. Yes. Later in the day, you can go and check and then see and quote me where I said that uh, the youth uh, are the problem. Uh, I think what we're trying to highlight, I think when you were making submission, is that uh, uh, the youth in Nigeria is facing a lot of problems. There's, there's, there's a, a also uh, ways to address and actually, no, because uh, just like the president is saying, uh, I didn't even talk much about this. I was talking more of Nigeria to today. And demand yes. for certain, uh, I don't know, rights, certain rights, 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 rights yes. from their mm. well, from their leaders. You they see, have you that see, right. You see, to you that. see on, on, on this energy thing that we are talking of, you yes. see, uh, briefly, you see, if you talk of electricity, we are saying that these substructures. That that are, that are, that are, that are things that could make the country grow is, is our concern, and in the process they have a lot of value chain, value addition that could grow and they help the youth to show together unemployment. Uh, uh, exactly. Okay. If this man Bila, for God's sake, what the, what what the country is presently generating is like above five thousand megawatts of light, and Mambila alone is going to be doing that three thousand three three thousand megawatts, megawatts. three thousand fifty megawatts. Mm. That's what Mambila is going to be doing, and it's hydro. It's and you can imagine. If they kickstart that that one billa, but we are saying that if government have increased tariff, and then the jeros are giving enough electricity from what they what they have said, and then the discos are not receiving, and then the TCN is transmitting to the to the discos and they are not receiving, and then you come to all us and our consumers, and then we we on our own end too, we we are just giving abnoxious bills and all of that, mm -hmm. and the government on the one hand they are saying that they are giving free meters, and then you see, the whole thing is just disjointed, yeah, it's just disjointed. We don't know exactly what they want us to do. The tariffs are so high, you know, on the other hand, you are giving free meter. I mean, why these guys are privatized, partially. So what exactly are they telling us? Right. That is why these uh, things are not working. The and then meanwhile, if we say somebody has yes, 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 uh, they are not captured on the budgets. Mm. Then yes, somebody on the yes, let's speak. Hello? Yes, good morning. Uh, by the side. Oh, I can't get Let's Let's hear you, Madam Sadi. <laughs> even, 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 even before your submission, this uh, restructuring yes. that the elite, but more especially, particularly the southern elite, who invented and created and made a loud noise mm. about this. Uh, Madam Sadi, the North are also <laughs> saying <laughs> it is time to restructure. <laughs> Can, can you conclude in a minute? Yeah. Can you conclude in a minute?
By leaders, man, and Sadi, by leaders, not just, uh, yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, other Sadi. Okay. Uh, all right. We need to complete now. Yeah, you see, Joe, what we're saying is that, you see, let the government walk the talk, as, as it's saying, you know, usual parlance. You see, they need to tell us, you know, exactly what they are doing on behalf of the people so that people can believe exactly what they are doing. Not when they say they are doing this in one breath, in the other breath, they are doing exact opposite. Then before you know it, when people start shouting that this is what we are expecting, we are not getting, they will begin to, to threaten you with some obnoxious, you know, uh, laws uh, by saying that uh, they will emasculate the social media space and all of that. These are the problems that we are saying. There are things that this government would have done in their own program, their project, they've committed resources on it. Why are they not completing them? We have, we have reeled them out here long long ago. So if government can the do issue, that... The I issue think, of I think the social media, is it really about uh, challenging government or about... Uh, fake news or you know when you when you when you for, let, let's give you an example now for instance that is this, when the, the peace what, and unity this, this, of this, the country of course for the peace and unity of the country but what I'm saying is that you when you allow you know the people to have free cessation to disseminate fake news is your fault yes I just told you here now that there is the 2019-21 budget is not captured You're in, in this, yes I'm concluding it's not captured in some of these things and it's and this is paramount it's uppermost in the in the government's agenda to transform the energy sector and they're not doing it so we begin to wonder what is happening there if tomorrow you you do a post and say government have failed us they have not done this someone will clearly say is 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 fake news i'm just giving as an as an example so they need to do what they're supposed to do okay. for the good of the people All right. so that this country for once mm. We begin to do what we are supposed to do, especially when they say they will be completing projects. But the, the projects they have started on their own, they have not completed. The ones that they say they, 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 they are ongoing, that they are supposed to complete, they are not completed. Meanwhile, resources have well, been no, allocated. No, not, not all. There yeah, most of them, but there are, some, are yes, there are some places, but the, the very yes. key ones mm -hmm. are not being done. And this is what people are looking forward to. Okay. They are in the eyes of the, of, of, of the country. Okay. I'm no longer talking of insecurity. I'm not talking of insecurity. You know? Because hey. the bashing the government got just last week is not for them to go to go thinking that somebody can move in from Niger, come into Nigeria, pick up an American, take him away, and, and all of that. And, and it was so easily problems. done. You know, that begin to wonder problems. And you will live over So these are some of the things that I'm okay. saying. Right. So so when, when when are they going to do things that people will, will, will applaud them? Okay. Well I think uh, I will conclude while well, I agree with some of the things he said, but uh, uh, the Northern Governors meeting, let it live, uh, continue. And uh, anytime communique is released, we expect that uh, various state gov uh, secretaries to the government should go back to the state and then release a kind of white paper to carry the citizens uh, along. And uh, members of the National Assembly that are supposed to oversee some of these uh, uh, agencies of government, mm. let them now redouble their efforts to make sure that the right thing is done. Because otherwise the answers wouldn't have come if they have done the needful. Because uh, the issue mm. of uh, complaining about the, uh, the excesses of the Nigerian police, I think, has been there for long, for ages, and nobody has really checked them. And at the same time, ongoing projects in the north should be looked at. And this those things, paramount. and, th and those things they have listed in the community, fighting poverty, insurgency, and the rest of them. Mm. Please let the governors now in each state now give us a kind of. Uh, uh, statistics of what is ha happening and what they have done, and they give us now a kind of checklist of where and they what they have done. The sort of committees, yes, yes. no, uh, but even if they have done that, uh, let us mm. now make they sure that some of this is are reaching the people mm. because sometimes committees in Nigeria don't work, and there is nothing that some of these things are not known to the government. Yes. They know everything. So well, this is I mean. Sorry, well, this is how we wrap up discussions looking at issues in the polity. We've been discussing with Madam Musa Zubairu, Parliament Commissioner, Kaduna State Assembly Commission, a lecturer, also former coordinator of National Poverty Eradication Program, Napef Kaduna State. So uh, he's also a public affairs agent. Thank you for coming and sharing your views. Thank Nashi. you, Uche and the DITV. No, also a GDR, yeah. Musa Idris, a politician, former DG, IPAC. Uh, a water engineer, a rice farmer, public affairs analyst, etc. <laughs> he wants to hear. Yeah, brought me some. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you also for coming and sharing your views <laughs> in Nigeria. Uh, once again, thank you for investing your time. My name is Uche Joe, and on behalf of the crew, thank you for watching. And do join us again uh, tomorrow for another edition of the program. And enjoy the rest of the day.